Lesson Eight: Activities. Can for ability. Hello, students. Today we are going to look at different kinds of activities, mostly sports. So let's review some of the activities that we already know. One activity we know: basketball. Basketball. We also know baseball. Baseball. Very popular is football. Football. And we have volleyball. Volleyball. We also have hockey. Hockey. Karate. Karate. Swimming. Swimming. In the winter, we can go skiing. Skiing. And we also know badminton. Badminton. Okay. What are some examples of activities? Some activities we do are playing chess. Playing chess. Sometimes playing backgammon. Playing backgammon. Or like Monopoly, for example, we can play. Board games, playing board games. Some people like to dance, so they go to a disco. Going to a disco. And to see history, people go to a museum. Going to a museum. If you like. Picasso or other artists, you might go to an art museum. Going to an art museum and to watch live acting, people enjoy going to the theater. Going to the theater. Okay, there's also. A winter sport called sledding. People do this activity in the winter. All right. In level one, we learned the present continuous. Let's look at some questions and answers about sports and activities using the present continuous. So please follow along on your computer. Is John playing tennis? No, John isn't playing tennis. He is playing badminton. Is Alan swimming? Yes, Alan is swimming. What is the professor doing? He is smoking a pipe. Okay, now let's review. Can for ability. Okay, we use can to talk about ability, being able to do something. When do we use can, Anna? We use can to show ability in the present and future. Very good, Anna. Can you give me an example? Sure, I can speak Spanish. Great. What other things can you do? I can play volleyball. I can ride a bicycle, and I can count one hundred in English. Very good. What can't you do? Well, I can't drive a car.、Uh, I can't play golf,、uh, and I can't ride a motorcycle. Thank you, Anna. Sylvia, what sports can you play? I can play football. I can play golf. I can't play baseball. 
Good answer, Sylvia. Alberto, what activities can you do? I can cook Italian food. I can play backgammon. I can ride the scooter. Thank you, everyone. Now we know how to use can to express ability. Let's look at some more examples. Please follow me. Follow along on your computer. Alice can sing a song. Alice can't sing a song. Her mother can play tennis. Her mother can't play tennis. In these sentences, we use can to express ability. All right, let's look at how we construct can for ability. Let's look at an example. Tom can climb a tree. Tom can climb a tree. Okay, so the form is subject plus can plus your main verb plus an object, if you have an object. So in this sentence, Tom is the subject. Then you have can, main verb climb, the object a tree. All right, let's look at the negative form. Example, Tom can't climb a tree. So the negative form is subject plus cannot or short form can't plus your main verb plus your object. So in this sentence, Tom, again, is the subject. Then we use can't, climb as the main verb, and a tree as the object. Okay, here is a chart to help you remember how to use can. Please follow along. Tom can climb a tree. Tom can't climb a tree. Okay, let's practice again using can. I will ask you a question, Anna. I want you to answer the question and then ask Sylvia a question. Sylvia, you answer the question and then ask Alberto a question. Okay, are you ready? Yes. All right, Anna, can you fix a computer? No, I can't. I can use a computer. Silvia, can you play football? Yes, of course I can. Alberto, can you throw a baseball? Yes, I can, but I am not very good at bas baseball. It isn't uh, very popular in my country. All right, very good, students. Now let's do it one more time. Alberto, can you start? Sure. Silvia, can you shoot a gun? No, I can't. It's very dangerous. Anna, can you ride a horse? Yes, I can. I like horses very much. Teacher, can you fly, in a, fly an airplane? No, I can't, but I can ride in an airplane. Good. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. George can drive a motorcycle. Paula can't drive a motorcycle. Anita can't play volleyball. Rebecca can play volleyball. Read and repeat.
Now we know how to use can to express ability. So let's look at some more examples. Can Barry ride a scooter? Yes, he can. He learned last year. Can Barry ride a scooter? Yes, he can. He learned last year. Can bears climb a tree? Yes, some bears can climb a tree. Can bears climb a tree? Yes, some bears can climb a tree. Can Mary sing a song? No, Mary can't sing a song. She has a cold. Can Mary sing a song? No, Mary can't sing a song. She has a cold. Can Nancy play basketball? Yes, she can. She is very good. Can Nancy play basketball? Yes, she can. She is very good. All right, here is a chart to help you remember yes-no questions. Please follow along. Can Angela catch a baseball? Yes, she can. Can a doctor help people? Yes, a doctor can help people. Can an alligator fly? No, an alligator can't fly. Okay, now let's practice. Let's use can in question forms. Alberto, can you play backgammon? A little. I am not good. My sister can play backgammon very well. Thank you, Alberto. Can you ask Sylvia a question? Sure. Sylvia, can you play volleyball inside? Yes, sometimes I can play volleyball in a gym. Good. Now ask Anna a question, Sylvia. All right. Anna, uh, can you make tacos? I think I can. We don't eat tacos in Spain too much. Thank you, everyone. Now we can look and listen. Look and listen. Can Lily play the piano well? Yes, she can. Can Todd play basketball? No, he can't because he is very short. Can kangaroos jump high? Yes, they can jump very high. Can Kareem speak English? No, he can't. He never studies. Read and repeat. Can for permission. Now we are ready to learn how to use can for permission. We use can to say that it's all right to do something, or can't to say that it's not all right to do something. Here are some examples. Joyce can drive a car. She has her license. It's all right for Joyce to drive a car. Joyce can drive a car because she has her license. But Andrew can't drive a car. He doesn't have his license. Andrew can't drive a car. He doesn't have his license. So it's not all right for him to drive a car. All right, now let's practice. I can smoke in the living room, but I can't smoke in the bedroom. Anna, can you smoke at home? I don't smoke. My father can't smoke on the balcony. He can't smoke in the living room. 
He can't smoke inside. We don't like it. My mother will be angry. All right, great, Anna. Uh, Sylvia, can you play volleyball in your bedroom? Huh? Of course not. I can't play volleyball in my bedroom. My roommates will not be happy and they can kill me. Oh, I hope not. Alberto, can you play billiards at home? No, I can't. We don't have a billiards table. I usually go to the billiards parlor. Uh, we like billiards very much in Italy. Great, Alberto. Anna, can you drive a scooter? Yes, I can. I have a scooter and I have a license. Thank you, everyone. Good job. Now we know how to use can to express ability. Please follow along and listen to the examples. I can drive a scooter. She can play ice hockey. Igor can shoot a gun. Beatrice can jump very high. So we can use can for permission. A person can do something because it is okay to do something. It also means that a person can't do something because it is not okay. So let's look at some more examples. Please follow along. I can play the piano now. The neighbors are not at home. I can't play the piano now. The neighbors are at home. Let's talk about what children can and can't do. Alberto, can a child drive a motorcycle? Huh? Of course not. It's very dangerous for children. Very good, Alberto. Sylvia, can children play volleyball? Sure, why not? Children can play volleyball. Volleyball is fun. Thank you, Sylvia. Anna, can children watch television in the morning? I think so. When they are little, they can watch television in the morning. They don't have school. Good job. Thank you. So, we use can for permission in the same way that we use can for ability. Please take a look at these examples. takes the same form. For example, Lucy can wear lipstick. She is a teenager, so that means it is okay for her to wear lipstick. Lucy can wear lipstick. She is a teenager. Okay, so let's look at this form. We have our subject again, plus can, plus the main verb plus our object. In this sentence, Lucy is the subject, can, and then the main verb, wear, object is lipstick. Let's look at a negative form. Amy can't wear lipstick because she is a baby, so it's not okay. So we have Amy as our subject, then we have can't, can or can't, main verb is wear, object is lipstick. So Amy can't wear lipstick, she is a baby, so she doesn't have permission from her parents. It's not all right. All right, now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. David can't play football in the house. He will break something. We can't eat dinner at home. My mother wants to eat at a restaurant. Her grandfather can't walk in the park. His wife wants him to rest. You can't drive the car. You don't have a license. Maria can't go to the cinema. Her parents want her to stay home. Read and repeat.
pronunciation. Before we finish with can and can't, let's talk about pronunciation. Sometimes when we say can, it usually sounds a little bit shorter, like C-N. Let's look at these examples. I can do it. She can come tomorrow. But when we say can't, it sounds very clear and strong. Listen. I can't do it. She can't come tomorrow. So let's practice listening for can and can't. You tell me which one I say. Sylvia, you start. So listen first. Sylvia can play basketball. You say it can. Yes, that's right. Okay, Alberto, listen. Anna can't speak Japanese. You said can't. Great. Now, Anna, I can ride a bicycle. You say it can. Great, you're all doing so well. Let's do a few more. Alberto, listen. You can walk and talk. You said can. Good. Anna, you can't walk and talk. You said can't. You are all listening very well. Sylvia, now you. We can't talk to you now, but we can talk to you tomorrow. Mm, you said can't and can. Very good. Modal verb should. Now it is time to learn a new modal verb, should. Should means it is all right to do something. It is a good idea to do something. Shouldn't means it is not a good idea to do something. Here are some examples. Please follow along. I am tired. I should go to bed. The students have a quiz tomorrow. They shouldn't play football tonight. My mother is ill. She should not exercise this morning. He should put the key in his pocket. He always forgets it. In these sentences, you can see the auxiliary should. Should means it's all right to do something. It's a good idea to do something. Shouldn't means it's not all right to do something. It is not a good idea. Okay, let's look at some more examples. Please follow along. Brendan is bored. He should call his friend. Danielle should eat something. She is going to play tennis tonight. Brendan is ill. He should not play football. Danielle should not eat. She is going to play tennis in 15 minutes. Here is a chart to help you better understand the modal auxiliary should. Please take a look. Debbie should play basketball. This is the positive form. So notice the form. We have subject plus should plus our main verb plus the direct object. For our negative form, we have an example, Debbie should not play basketball. So we have our subject plus should not plus the verb plus the object. For yes, no questions, should Debbie play basketball? First, should, then the subject, then the verb, then the object. Information questions with should. Where should Debbie play basketball? 
Start with the question word, then add should, the subject, the verb, and the object. The questions with should not. Question word plus should not plus subject plus your verb plus your object. Where shouldn't Debbie play basketball? All right, now we better understand should, so let's practice. How are you feeling, Sylvia? I'm not feeling good today. I have a headache. Oh, you should rest tonight. You should not play volleyball. Thank you. That's a good idea. How are you, Anna? I am worried. I have a big exam tomorrow. You see Italian literature. Oh, you should study. Maybe Alberto can help you study Italian literature. You should also exercise. That will help. I'll try. Thank you. And how are you, Alberto? I am nervous. There is a big football match on TV tonight. They're playing a very good team from Argentina. Oh, you should go to the match. You should watch it with friends. I should go, but uh, I can't. There are no tickets. You are right. I should watch it with my friends. Thank you, everyone. Now we should look and listen. Look and listen. The water is warm. We should swim. Tammy shouldn't go to the party tonight. Gretchen should learn to play backgammon. It is fun. The dog shouldn't be outside. It is raining. Read and repeat. Alright, let's practice some more. Anna, I want to go swimming at the beach today. What should I do? You should buy sunscreen, you should buy a beach hat, you should bring something to read. It will be very hot today. Oh, great. Thank you, Anna. Alberto, my father wants to go to the football game tonight. It's going to rain. What should he do? He should take his umbrella and he should wear his raincoat. Thank you, Alberto. Sylvia, my friend always walks to work. He is always tired. He is always ill. What should he do? He should take a bus. He should buy a car. He should buy a scooter. He should not walk. Okay, good. Also, it is very hot outside, Sylvia. Should I play basketball? No, you shouldn't. Uh, it is bad to play basketball now. You should go swimming at the beach. It, it will be cool there. Okay, good. I have a toothache, Anna. Should I play golf this afternoon? No, of course not. You shouldn't play golf. You should go to the dentist. You should take an aspirin. Thank you, Anna. Alberto, my sister wants to go to the disco tonight. She likes to dance very much. What should she do? She should not go to the disco tonight. It will be very crowded. She should go tomorrow. It won't be crowded. Very good, everyone. Thank you. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Alex is cold. He should put on a sweater. Larry isn't tired. He should not sleep. The woman cannot see well. She should buy new glasses. The man can see well. He should take his test now. 
Read and repeat. Review. Okay, let's review what we learned today. First, we learned can for ability. Let's take a look at some examples. Tom is tall. He can play basketball well. Paul isn't tall. He cannot play basketball well. Can Tom play basketball? Yes, he can. He is tall. Can Paul play basketball? No, he can't. He is short. We also reviewed can for permission. Take a look at these examples. Tom can play basketball tonight. He doesn't have an exam tomorrow. Ed can't play basketball tonight. He has an exam tomorrow. Can Tom play basketball tonight? Yes, he can. He doesn't have an exam tonight. Can Ed play basketball tonight? No, he can't. He has an exam tomorrow. Finally, we learned the new modal, should. Okay, let's look at some more examples. Tom should play basketball tonight. It is good exercise. Ed shouldn't play basketball tonight. He has an exam tomorrow. Should Tom play basketball tonight? Yes, he should. It is good exercise. Should Ed play basketball tonight? No, he shouldn't. It is not a good idea. It is a good idea for Tom to play basketball because it's good exercise. It is not a good idea for Ed to play basketball because he has an exam tomorrow. All right, let's practice again. What are you going to do tomorrow, Alberto? I'm going to the tennis match. I should leave early. I'm going with my cousin. My aunt shouldn't go. She doesn't understand tennis. My other cousin uh, can't go because she is too young. After the match, we will eat at a nice Italian restaurant. Thank you, Alberto. Can I go with you? Sorry, uh, we only bought two tickets. Oh, I was just joking. What are you going to do tomorrow, Anna? I am going to ride a horse. We love horses in Spain. I should ride uh, at the park. I shouldn't ride on the street. I should wear my old jeans. I shouldn't wear my new jeans. The horse will be dirty. Great, Anna. What are you going to do tomorrow, Sylvia? I don't know. The football field is closed. I can ride my scooter. I can go to a film. I shouldn't go swimming uh, because it will be too cold. Maybe I shouldn't go... Uh, sorry, I shouldn't ride my scooter. It will rain. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Now we can and we should look and listen. Look and listen. It is raining very hard. Carol shouldn't ride her bicycle. She should stay inside. She should watch TV. 
They have a basketball match tonight. They should relax this afternoon. They shouldn't exercise this afternoon. Adam has a lot of free time. He can go for a walk. He can go swimming. The traffic light is red. You should stop. You shouldn't go. Read and repeat. Alright, now let's practice some more. My friend Jim wants to run 10 kilometers today. Is that a good idea, Alberto? Yes, that's okay. I met Jim. He is very strong. Thank you, Alberto. What do you think, Sylvia? He shouldn't run 10 kilometers. It is very hot. Maybe he can run 3 kilometers. Okay, good, Sylvia. Anna, my little sister, Jody, wants to ride her bicycle in the street. Is that a good idea? She can't ride her bicycles on the street. She is young. It's dangerous. Your mother will be angry. Okay, good. Sylvia, can you play tennis? I can play a little. I can play volleyball. I'm a good volleyball player. Thank you, Sylvia. Now, can you ask Alberto a question? And then, Alberto, you ask Anna a question. Alberto, should you go home early tonight? Yes, I should. My mother always worries. Mothers always worry. Anna, should we ride our bicycles tonight? No, we shouldn't. It will rain. We should watch the volleyball match together on TV. We can invite Sylvia. Sylvia, do you want to come? Thanks, but I can't come tonight. Very good. Now let's do something a little different. You're going to say five things you can do five things you should do, and five things you shouldn't do. All right, Alberto, you tell me the five things you can do. Sylvia, you say the five things you should do. And Anna, you say the five things you shouldn't do. Okay, let's begin. What do you say, Alberto? I can ride a bicycle, I can play football, I can climb a tree, I can play volleyball, I can run fast. All right, very good. I can ride a bicycle, I can play football, I can climb a tree, I can play volleyball, and I can run fast. Okay, Sylvia, how about your answers? I should study hard, I should exercise, I should cook spaghetti, I should learn to play football, uh, I should swim often. Good job, Sylvia. I should study hard, I should exercise, I should cook spaghetti, I should learn to play football, and I should swim often. Okay, and Anna? I shouldn't play tennis in the rain, I shouldn't run five kilometers in a day, I shouldn't shout at my brother. I shouldn't speak Spanish in class. I should speak English. Uh, I shouldn't play golf. Uh, I am very bad. All right, very good. I shouldn't play tennis in the rain. I shouldn't ride five kilometers in a day. I shouldn't shout at my brother. I shouldn't speak Spanish in class. I should speak English. I shouldn't play golf. I am very bad. 
Okay, now answer these questions with complete sentences. Sylvia, can you swim well? Yes, I can swim well. Thank you, Sylvia. Anna, can your mother drive a car? No, she can't. In Spain, many mothers don't drive. The fathers drive. Good, Anna. Alberto, should you ride a bicycle in the snow? No, I shouldn't. It's dangerous and difficult. Very good, Alberto. Anna, should we go to the bullfight next week? Maybe that's great. Maybe we can. I will ask my parents. Thank you very much, everyone. Now we can and should listen and write. Listen and write. <laughs> Students should study hard. You shouldn't be late for the match. Your coach will be angry. I can't play basketball tonight. Dan can't go to the beach today. Dick should exercise. He is fat. Jim's aunt can ride a horse well. We shouldn't go swimming. The water is cold. Lisa can't go to the museum this weekend. Tim can ride his motorcycle today. Anna can't speak Chinese. Now check your work. Students should study hard. You shouldn't be late for the match. Your coach will be angry. I can't play basketball tonight. Dan can't go to the beach today. Dick should exercise. He is fat. Jim's aunt can ride a horse well. We shouldn't go swimming. The water is cold. Lisa can't go to the museum this weekend. Tim can ride his motorcycle today. Anna can't speak Chinese. Okay, now listen to this story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Allison is going to the beach next Saturday. She is going with her family and her best friend, Angela. She should buy a new swimsuit. She should buy some suntan lotion and a new beach chair. Her parents should make reservations at a nice hotel. They will have a good time at the beach. Allison and Angela can sunbathe in the day. They can go to a disco at night. But they should be careful at night. Walking alone can be dangerous. Allison's parents can visit museums. They want to eat at nice restaurants. They should bring a lot of money because life is expensive at the beach. Now answer the questions about the story. Where is Allison going? Who is Allison going with? What should Allison buy before she leaves? What should Allison's parents do before they leave? What can Allison and Angela do during the day? Can they sunbathe at night? When should they be careful? What can Allison's parents do? Where do Allison's parents want to eat? Why should they bring a lot of money? Now check your answers. Where is Allison going? Allison is going to the beach. 
Who is Allison going with? Allison is going with her family and best friend Angela. What should Allison buy before she leaves? Allison should buy sun tan lotion, a new swimsuit, and a new beach chair. What should Allison's parents do before they leave? Allison's parents should make reservations at a nice hotel. What can Allison and Angela do during the day? Allison and Angela can sunbathe. Can they sunbathe at night? No, they can't. There is no sun. When should they be careful? They should be careful at night. What can Allison's parents do? They can visit museums. Where do Allison's parents want to eat? They want to eat at nice restaurants. Why should they bring a lot of money? They should bring a lot of money because life at the beach is expensive. All right, good job today. See you next time. Bye. Practicing English. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, man. I love this game. It's such a great workout, all that running. Yeah, and you're pretty good for someone who never played before you came here. Yeah, you're very quick and you have a lot of moves. Oh, uh, well, I think that comes from playing football. Uh, you call it soccer. For so long, there's a lot of running, and the moves are similar. But you get to use your hands in basketball. Okay, I'm wondering, do you know baseball, Alexi? Uh, yes, I do. But I've never seen a real game because we don't have it in Greece. Wow. Okay, then let's watch the Yankees match on TV this weekend. I have cable TV in my apartment. It's great sport, and we'll have a good night. That's a great idea. We have to plan this soon. Of course, Angie will want to come too. She loves the Yankees. Okay. Well, I will go tonight to see her this evening at her job.、Mm, okay. I will tell her then about our plan to see a baseball、mm. game. Okay. Angie, good to see you. Hey, guess what? There's a Yankees match this Saturday night. Jack, Sam, and I want to watch it at Jack's apartment. Can you come with us? Wow, I love seeing the Yankees play, but I think I have to work that night. Hmm, maybe I could ask Donna to switch nights with me. Let me see, Donna, can you work for me this Saturday? Hmm, I think that I can. I'm off and could use the money. What time do you start? The schedule says I'm on at 7 p.m. Can you be there then? Well, I should take the night off and just rest because I've been working so much. But I want to take a vacation and travel in Europe next year. I should save some money now. So, yes, I'll work for you this Saturday. Wonderful, Donna. Thank you. So, Alexi, it looks like I can come with you guys. Great. We'll have a fun time. Alexi, wait a minute. I know that you can play football and you can play basketball now, but can you play baseball?、Mm, no, I've never played baseball before. I want to learn how to play the game, and Sam and Jack thought I should see a game. They also said it'd be a lot of fun. They're right. Seeing the Yankees play on the summer night is a great experience. Wow. Can I bring my little brothers? They talk about baseball all the time. Yes, it is fine with me if you bring your little brothers, but you should ask Sam and Jack too. Good idea. I'll call them and see what they say. 
See you later. Bye. Hello? Hey, Sam. It's me, Alexi. Hey, what's up? Can you come to watch the game this Saturday? Yes, I can. And Angie can come too. Excellent. Hey, I have a question. Can I bring my brothers along with us? They've never seen a game either, and I think they would love baseball. Sure, it's fine with me. Yeah, they'll have a great time. Should I ask Jack, or do you think he will be okay with them coming along with us? I think you should ask him if they can come over. He's planning to ask some friends. Yeah, we should be sure that there's enough room for everyone. Thanks. Good idea. I'll call him right now. Okay, bye. Bye. Hello? Jack, Alexi here. How are you? Yeah, great. And you? I'm okay. I'm with Angie, and I asked Angie about the baseball game. She can come. I have a question for you. Can my little brothers come to your flat too? Sure. Fine with me. I think they'll have a great time. Great. Thanks for letting them come. I can't wait to tell them they're going to watch the Yankees play. No problem. See you tomorrow. Thanks. See you later. Thanks.